everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Thanks to researchers at UC San Diego, the future of medicine could include tiny robotic fish. They're called microfish, and they were made by researchers at UC San Diego's nanoengineering department using an innovative 3D printing technique that allows for the precise creation of microscopic objects. Each microfish is a mere 120 microns in length, which is roughly twice the average width of a human hair. The microfish contain platinum nanoparticles in their tails, which react with hydrogen peroxide and allow the fish to be self-propelled, and iron oxide nanoparticles in their heads, which allow them to be controlled magnetically. Beyond those capabilities, the microfish can be customized for a wide variety of applications. For their proof-of-concept demonstration, the UC San Diego researchers added nanoparticles that bind with toxins like those found in bee venom, showing how the microfish could be used in detoxification treatments. The researchers also suggest drug delivery as another obvious potential application. The paper on microfish is published in the journal Advanced Materials. Next up, engineers at the University of Toronto have created a new material that could help to repair damaged hearts. The material is a two-part polymer mesh. One layer consists of a honeycomb-like lattice, and the other is a similar lattice that also includes T-shaped posts. When the two layers are brought together, the T-posts poke through the holes and act as hooks, securing the layers together. The team that developed this material grew heart cells around layers of the mesh, which could then be assembled together like Velcro. In laboratory tests, heart tissue assembled with this mesh was able to function almost immediately. The mesh itself is biodegradable, and though this study focused on heart cells, in principle the mesh could be used to repair virtually any kind of tissue. This study is published in the journal Science Advances. And finally, we go from one new material that could help with the healing of our damaged bodies to another new material that could do the same thing for damaged spacecraft. Damage from debris is a major concern both for those who design and build spacecraft and for the astronauts who live in them for the duration of their missions. Now, researchers at the University of Michigan, supported by funding from NASA, have created a material capable of sealing itself after being punctured that could provide an added layer of protection against this celestial hazard. The material consists of a liquid sandwiched between two layers of solid polymer. The liquid turns solid when exposed to oxygen. Researchers tested it by shooting a bullet through a piece of the material. The liquid rushed in to fill the hole, forming a solid plug in less than a second, the spacecraft equivalent of a self-sealing tire. Speaking of which, the team behind this material speculates that it could be incorporated into automobiles too, potentially making this yet another product designed for space with down-to-earth applications as well. Researchers create microscopic artificial fish fit for medical applications. A new kind of tissue Velcro could help to repair damaged hearts, and a self-sealing material could help to protect astronauts from the hazards of space debris. That's the good news. The only problem with those robot fish is they're too tiny to stare at, right on.